Hi, I'm Jeremiah Gibbs and I am the Camino Guide. Today I'm out in the state park near my home uh, to talk about the spirituality of walking. I'm gonna give you four sort of uh, key factors, I think, in why walking is such a powerful uh, spiritual act and I uh, hope to be able to inspire you to maybe walk uh, today or even uh, to begin planning your pilgrimage to Camino de Santiago. So my first, um, point or my first point about the spirituality of walking is going to be um, that walking can be a meditation but meditation is really a way of slowing our life down to be able to connect more deeply with God or connect more deeply with our own soul and there's lots of ways that you can do that but a lot of the monastic communities would say that the most important thing that you can do is pick up an activity that sort of keeps your mind uh, busy with a part of that activity and allows, uh, allows the rest of your spirituality to connect without distraction. So the monastic communities in the ancient world, and sometimes even still today, will pick up practices, work, which is fairly um, mindless to do. So you might think about um, the monasteries that make and sell cheese or make pottery. These activities, um, while skilled activities, they are the kind of thing that requires uh, a lot of time and repetitive um, activity. That repetition um, allows them the space then to make that activity into an act of prayer. And um, I've done this for a long time, long before I discovered Camino, I knew that walking, sometimes even riding my motorcycle, was allowed me the space to be able to uh, focus more deeply on on meditation, on prayer, because my part of my mind is occupied with the activity. So when I'm out here walking, I'm thinking about the path that's right in front of me, thinking about how my feet feel. And that is very close to the practices of mindfulness that have become so popular in psychology and in uh, counseling practices. Um, there's a kind of mindfulness just in um, the ways that we walk. But then that allows us the space to ha connect more deeply in a spiritual meditation as well, both with our God and with our own soul. The second thing I'd like to say about walking and spirituality is I believe that walking is the speed of life. Walking is the speed of life. I remember the first time I went on Camino and I spent a couple of weeks, really about two and a half weeks, um, the first Camino without driving in a car or train. And I remember the first time I got into a vehicle again and I thought, Wow, this thing is going so fast. I started to realize that our bodies and our the way we're made was never to go 30 or 50 or 100 miles an hour. We naturally travel just a few miles an hour. And I think that when you travel very fast, you miss a lot. I think when you're walking, you see the flowers that you would otherwise drive by. You see the people that would really just be a blink in a car. But when you're on a trail or when you're walking through a town, they have a new kind of presence to you that they didn't have before.
I think that we are prone to talk about how busy we are. When I ask somebody, I see a colleague at work or see a friend at church, have a talk with them. How are you? How are you doing? I'm so busy. And we often wear busy as a badge of honor. And I don't think busy is a badge of honor. So I want my life to be slowed down a bit. And when I'm walking, my life has to slow down enough to begin to notice things. Back to that concept of mindfulness that I mentioned before. Walking helps me to notice the things that I'm around me. This third aspect of walking that I want to mention may be kind of specific to Camino over just walking in my park like I'm doing today. But I think that Camino in particular, and probably long distance hikes, through hikes and things like that would be similar, require a community. They require help. I was watching a documentary recently uh, on the Spirit and Nature YouTube. It's kind of a new YouTube channel um, where uh, this married couple talk about their uh, Camino journey and they have a great documentary. Uh, they're both in television and so the cinematography for their documentary is great. You really should check it out and I'll link to it up above. Um, but there was a moment where uh, the husband in that documentary needed help from somebody in Pamplona, I believe it was. And he was really down and having a hard day. And when that person helped him, it sort of changed his whole outlook on the day. And really from that point on, he becomes uh, such a champ for uh, the struggles his wife is going through and so on. Um, because that help really meant something to him. And I think for most of us, to have someone uh, caring for us, reaching out to us, really makes a difference. And, uh, and we learned that on Camino. We learned that there's a spirituality of doing this together. Um, so it's a powerful aspect of Camino spirituality, walking in particular. The last point that I'll mention about the spirituality of walking really has to do with uh, being out in nature and being more connected with the earth. You know, so many of us spend all of our waking hours um, inside of an air-conditioned building, unaffected by what's going on outside. The weather could be good or bad, and it doesn't make much of a difference for my day. Um, but when we get out and begin to walk, we're more connected with the earth that God has made us to steward over. Walking takes time, you know, I, I don't, if I were to go out for a run, I probably would only be outside for 30 minutes or maybe an hour. But oftentimes when I go for a walk, I'm outside connected with the earth for hours on end. And to a certain extent at its, um, at its mercy, if it gets bad weather, or the ground is uh, particularly, the terrain is particularly tough. I'm at its mercy and that connects me more deeply to it. If you find this video helpful, I hope that you will click like on the video that helps other people to be able to find it, but then click subscribe. If you'll subscribe to this video, uh, I do a lot of videos uh, to be able to help people uh, make their path to Camino de Santiago, talk about gear. We talk about um, the kind of the spirituality of Camino and we talk about some of the logistics and planning help as well for those who are considering walking Camino de Santiago. So click subscribe uh, and check back often uh, for more uh, help as you make your way to Santiago de Compostela.